fall is such a colorful, colorful kind of season. And pumpkins, uh, pumpkins and winter squash really add to the color. We had three of these pumpkins sitting by the front door, jack lantern types. Uh, Sandra picked them up for the kids. And I have just had this thing about pumpkins going to waste. For years and years and years, we've cut them up and roasted them and pureed them and turned them into soups and breads and all kinds of things. Well, this year, uh, with these three pumpkins, we decided that we would try different ways of roasting them um, just to see how it turns out. So one suggestion that Amanda had come across was putting the whole pumpkin in the oven now and letting it roast and then scooping out the seeds and getting your puree. Well, that sounded interesting. <laughs> so we tried it. Now the pumpkin was a little bit smaller than this, so it fit in the oven very nicely. Um, it roasted, we pulled it out. It was roasting in a pot in a big pie plate. It had collapsed. It looked really like it had been through a war or something. I let it cool and then I sliced into it to open it up and get the seeds out and you did almost exploded with water. Couldn't believe it. So I said, well, maybe this is not the way to do a pumpkin. So we set that aside, put the second one in the oven using a method I'll show you in a minute. Um, same thing happened. Just water and it collapsed. It was just a watery mess and there wasn't much color to it. So what I want to say is if you want pumpkin to cook with, not all pumpkins are equal. And probably the best way to get a really good pumpkin is to talk to your green grocer or whoever's running the fruit stand where you shop. This is a sugar pumpkin. Now, much smaller than our jack-o'-lantern type, but these are grown for pies and the kind of puree where you want a sweet, dense, deeply colored flesh. So with the pie pumpkin, what you would do, what I recommend that you do, don't put the whole thing in the oven. I don't think that works too well. You're going to take with a very sturdy, sharp knife. You're going to cut the top out. You're going to open it up. And then you are going to use, I've got a really, this is a wonderful old spoon with a sharp edge. And I was using this to scrape out the seeds. And it took a few minutes because these seeds were really compact. You can see the pumpkin smiling back at you. Have a pan ready that is lightly oiled. A little bit of peanut oil or a little um, some good coconut oil. Put your pieces in the pan. Put these into an oven running all 350, 375 and bake. Now, depending on the size of the pumpkin and the variety of the pumpkin or the winter squash that you're baking, um, the time can vary. I would say for, for this little guy, um, figure mm, 40, 45 minutes, and you will test it by piercing it with a knife. When there's just no resistance, just there's a resistance right now, you can probably even hear it a bit. When there's no resistance, when the pumpkin is done, the knife just slips right in. A knife, a fork, something sharp, just test it with that. Uh, when it's done, pull it out of the oven, let it cool, and you'll be able to turn it over and just very easily scoop out that, that pumpkin uh, to use as puree. That's what you make a pie with, and mm, it's time for a pumpkin pie.